Today I'm off to Otterton in Devon. I'll be starting in the village here, crossing over and following this footpath alongside the River Otter. I'll be stopping in Budley Salterton briefly to check this viewpoint out and then I'll be joining on to the southwest coast path and on route I can imagine I should see some wonderful scenery of the sea and then I'll be going up here to Ladram Bay and briefly stopping there for some uh, great views and then I will be taking the rest of the journey on the road back to Otterton. So join me on my walk to see how I get on. Right, here we go. So there we are. Started raining a little bit, but not too much on the way here. So, Otterton then. It's, uh, it's best known for its meal and one of the places worth stopping for, for sure, if you're popping down here for a holiday in Devon. So milling on this site, which is just over there actually, has been taking place for over a thousand years. So if you think about that, that goes back to Norman times when William the Conqueror was around. The Otterton Mill uses water power to produce its signature stone ground flour. So it continues this year, years old milling tradition. But in the 20th century, parts of the mill fell into disrepair and was used for cattle market and a slaughterhouse. In 1959, milling had stopped and it was then used for grain storage. Fortunately, in 1977, the mill was lovingly restored. Entry is free for a tour and the ancient workings can be viewed. Millers are more than happy to explain how the mill works and answer any questions you might have. You can even taste some fresh emerging flour down the flour chute. And when you finish, you can take some fresh produce home with you. You can also sit in their little cafe outside. Another interesting fact is that Otterton Mill attracts people from all over the world to come here. Amazing, isn't it? And then you get your open bits like this. The rain started to come down a little bit, just spitting. That's a little stop, stopping place next to the River Otter, which we are just following along the path here. Well, the River Otter rises in the Blackdown Hills, which is just inside the county of Somerset, England, near Otterford. And Otterford is somewhere I did go uh, earlier in the year. And then it flows south through East Devon. It enters the English Channel at the western end of Lime Bay, which is part of the Jurassic Coast, which is the direction that I'm going in. And this is the viewpoint, but the, you can see this is a bit too high up. It's grown a lot, but there would be the, um, the river that's entering the sea. 
if you can see from here. Well, it's really coming down now, but um, this is a road bridge near to Budley. And uh, yeah, it, you can see the, the River Otter really opens up here, doesn't it? And then it just enters the sea not far away from here. Crossed over the River Otter and we're approaching towards the coast path. I haven't been on a coast path, I can't remember the last time I did. So it's, uh, it's going to be quite exciting, I would say. Well, we've got a nice, we've got a nice opening here. You can see the sea and you can see the River Otter just entering it here. Oh, wow. Honestly, for me, this is, oh, it's amazing because I first started following this sort of walk straight down from Fenerton at the beginning of the year and I've done it in parts and just seeing that and feeling like you've gone all the way down where I was following the River Otter um, from just before Ottery St Mary. Oh it's a, an amazing moment, it really is and anyone can do this you know you don't have to do it um, every week just take your time and do bits as and when you feel like it you know amazing it's crazy weather in this country isn't it it was really sort of starting to come down just at the road bridge and then all of a sudden it feels like a completely different day well as we know that's just typical British weather isn't it so Yeah, I can smell like the pine trees as well and then soon I'll probably smell some of the sea air which will probably knock me out later. <laughs> you come up to the coastal path you start seeing the real serious walkers you know with um, like proper socks, proper walking boots and focused you know focused ahead but all really polite and friendly to speak to as you pass them so yeah just um quickly spoke to a guy that's staying at um Ladron Bay and he said it was really lashing down on the uh top of the coastal path but you know he knew it was going to change and he's kept going so <laughs> British weather again so there we go there's there's officially the river otter entering the sea so yeah it, it sort of twists around there and then there you go in there and there's the sea it's wonderful to see it really is wonderful to see but pardon the pun i come out of those every so often don't i <laughs> not on purpose though as you climb and climb up the um the, well the cliff i suppose isn't it not a hill but you can see um, Budley sort of, it's going to slowly disappear out of view. First little taster of the sea on the, along the coastal path. As you can see, you can see the cliff there as well. This is magic, isn't it? Is. Every so often when you look out to sea you'll you'll see uh, uh, a ship and there you go there's one there. So the southwest coastal path which I haven't been on for a, a long long time I can't remember as I was saying before but it is the longest marked path in England. It goes on for 630 miles. It runs from Minehead in Somerset along the coasts of Devon and Cornwall to Paul Harbour in Dorset. And by the way, if you complete the whole thing, members of the Southwest Coastal Path Association can get a badge and a certificate. 
if you'd like. If you've completed the path and would like a badge and a certificate, you can email the Southwest Coastal Path Association. Oh wow, look at that. No, I haven't seen anything like that for a while, I'll tell you. Here we go, we sort of got to the top. A bit, it looks like a glamping site over there. Can't really see it very well on the camera. And then we can just look back at where we've gone. All of that, we've, we've covered all that. So if we were over there and then come up here. So yeah, beautiful views and then beautiful views in front of you as well. I mean, you can, again, with the coastal path, you can just do a little bit of, a, bit of it and go up the hill and then go back uh, wherever you've parked your car, you know? Um, that you feel like when you've done that you can say you've walked a segment of it and it feels when you're here I can tell you it feels amazing it really does feel awesome not the otter ne river otter next to us now we've got the sea and you can hear the the distant sound of the waves as well right below it's quite busy today, especially along the River Otter. Lots of people, families out, I suppose being a Sunday. And it's um, during the summer holidays. You can see ahead here, you can see people dotted around en route. And uh, yeah, there we go. Can see very far ahead there that's nice isn't it that little opening there little like uh, cove you can hear the grasshoppers in the background not sure if you hear them on here so much but yeah and it's still staying nice a perfect temperature if I'm honest for doing this wild wild sort of plants there climbing up and uh, oh it's gonna be a sharp left here isn't it Stuart Line cruises. There we go, just looking back on ourselves when climbing this hill. Not too, not too much of a high one. Well, just past an interesting building, uh, but there was a lot of people there, so couldn't get a lot of coverage really to be honest but it's a gunnery research post from the 1940s for uh yeah gunnery research that was secretive this is the so far this is the most interesting bit of the coastal path You can hear the seagulls, and it started to spit of rain, spit with rain again a little bit. So got the waterproof back on. Going down here. You can see Ladrum Bay, the rocks. Yeah, 
at this. Got a, yeah, your feet could run out, could run a bit here if you don't put your control your feet. Not too, not too obviously um, steep, but yeah, just gotta take your time. there's a sign so that's how far we've gone so far we continue down there yeah this so this uh, walk today is definitely gonna um, test out the Bridgedale socks and so far they they've been really good I know we're not at the end yet but so far they've been really good I've walk, worn them about, I think it's the third walk I've worn them on. So a little bit more about the Jurassic Coast. It's a, a UNESCO World Heritage Site on the English Channel, coast of southern England. It stretches from Exmouth in East Devon all the way to Studland Bay in Dorset. That's a distance of about 96 miles. World Heritage Sites are designated by UNESCO for having cultural, historical, scientific or other form of significance. And what does UNESCO stand for? It stands for United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organisations. Organisations, sorry bit of a mouthful isn't it but yeah there we go I didn't know that yeah look at that view and uh, we are we're coming into Ladron Bay and uh, we'll go up we'll go up here a little bit and we'll get a better view I reckon so yeah you can imagine having a holiday here in one of the holiday homes and down there there's like a little place for people just to enjoy the the beach and apparently you can um, you can uh, hire like a, a kayak and, and boats from from down there as well you might be able to see that but yeah so it's a great place to come for a holiday isn't it so there we go this is um, the Ladron Bay stacks they're called and basically their stacks are the remains of caves and arches that have collapsed leaving behind these uh, stumps as you can see here Look, further afield in the distance there is Sidmouth and you can see Jacob's Ladder there, look. Lovely little cafe up there as well. Well, if you're interested, recruiting now, seasonal positions available here. And uh, Ladron Bay just some, some information here of what you may see. Hmm. Weasel and uh, a dormice as well. What's nice about the holiday homes as well is you get like a little balcony facing towards the sea. I mean, you might not be able to see a great deal from just just behind here, but it's just lovely, isn't it? It's a good good vibe and it's nice to have that you know have a nice cup of tea or something you got some boats here that you could possibly hire ready to go so yeah just down there is where you can go down the beach and chill 
and we're going to go up this way back to Otterton. And if you wanted to purchase a, a holiday home, there is the cost of it. There's the um, little map of the, the, the place. As you can see, there's quite a lot here. And there's also fish and chips as well. I've just seen a shop sign for it. The um, entertainment that's coming soon as well. Look at that. Just parked up um, here as well at the site. Just looks like it's obviously a, something to look at, you know. It really feels like a little um, little village here, to be honest. Right, here we go. Otterton. Yeah, it, just leaving Ladrum Bay, it, it really feels like a community and it feels like a little village, you know? Um, it's really intriguing just to see exactly what was there. Um, everyone seems really friendly as well and I was speaking to, just walked past um, a chap and he's um, come here again, like so impressed with it, he wanted to have another holiday here, so yeah, just enjoying his time with his family. Yeah, just to confirm, you can either own your own uh, holiday home at Ladron Bay or you can just stay there on holiday. So. You've got those options. Maybe it is worth just staying there one time, you know? Even if it's just once. I think it'll be a worthwhile experience. Just note that if you are deciding to, uh, to go there, just some helpful information. Right, well, we're on the road now, and this will take us back down to Otterton. starting to spit with rain again but I've just got my waterproof on still so I've zipped that up. When you come into Otterton you've got this lovely stream that runs right through the village centre. It's really nice to just walk along and it goes quite far down as well. Right there we are I've now completed my walk I'm back in the car um, now that was quite a long one today, um, that was 9.45 kilometres that we did. Um, we are parked right next to the stream actually, there you go, just thought I'd let you know. Um, and also another thing I wanted to say is it's worth checking out the King's Arms pub because that literally sits along this little stream. Anyway, we've seen a lot today, it's been really good. Um, and I think these Bridgedale socks have served their purpose very well indeed. My feet are not too bad, actually. But thank you for joining us once again. Stay safe, take care, and join me again for another walk very soon. And it's bye-bye from me in Otterton.